Hello everybody, I'm Takashi and the sun just happened to hide, hide behind those clouds so you will have to bear with it. <laughs> I'm here to continue my the pony friendship with magic, phoenix, fight, crossover, turnabout, star. It's the other part of part 3, therefore it's phoenix. Uh, I first recorded the uh, Pinky's part, and uh, it seems Phoenix had some investigations too, and some trouble with uh, cruise control. So, without anything else, let's just start the video. My name is Phoenix right now, I'm fine! My name is Phoenix right now, I'm fine! Are you really? My name is Phoenix <laughs> right now, I'm fine! Phoenix, are you oh. okay? Oh, hey, Chief. I was just practicing for my very first trial, which is tomorrow. Are they back? The guys Wait. back at law school said this tech would really help me out. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard all the screeching coming from the office, I thought someone was murdering <laughs> you. That wasn't screeching, that was step four. Step four. Uh. <laughs> I don't think you need this exercise tape. I'm sure you'll do just fine. The suspect, he's your friend, right? Yeah, he's my friend, but... But... No, that's what? before the first he's, case. Well... Yes? He's kind of an idiot. <laughs> kind of. That's not a very nice thing to say about your friend. No, I really mean it. He thinks passing the 8th grade is a credential. He even got the report card framed and everything. So, what are you getting at? I mean, what if he really did kill that woman? No, he didn't. What do I do? Do I still lie and try to defend him? Or do I side with justice and let him be punished? Phoenix. Don't stress yourself out so much. Tell me, what do you think? Me? What do you mean? You, as Phoenix Wright, not as a defense attorney. Do you think your friend killed that woman? No. He might not be the sharpest tool in the shed, but I don't think he has it in him to kill anyone. There you go. Huh? Go off that. You have to believe in him. It's your job to. Cast all that doubt aside and pursue that truth. If you do that, nothing can stop you. The truth, huh? Thanks, Chief. I'm still a little nervous, though. Yeah, Phoenix so, right the city is teaching hey, um, to... Do you cruise. by any chance know who the find. prosecutor is? At least the find prosecutor? it. prosecutor? I believe it's Winston Payne. The rookie you know, killer. <laughs> the rookie killer. R rookie killer? I don't like the sound of that title. Not many rookies take the prosecutor into consideration. His hair fell out Why did you want after to know something like that? Uh, meeting Phoenix uh, right, so... <laughs> no reason. I was just curious. You seem more disappointed than curious. Ah, forget about it. I'm just a little out of it right now. I'll never forget what you taught me. But somehow, oh. I highly doubt you're looking down and smiling back. after what I did today. Yes. Phoenix, I was wrong about you. Twilight, wait, I... She's gone. Who am I kidding? She's right. I did absolutely terrible in there. Now two of her friends are suspects. What do I do now? I don't have any leads at all. Nobody to turn to. I'm all by myself. Which means I can't even get back home. No. I can't think that way. I've got to stay diligent. Yes. I said I'd clear Rainbow Dash's name. And I bought her another day. I can't let it go to waste. But where do I start? Hey, Mr. Brownie Man. <laughs> What's the matter? Huh? Where did she come from? She smells like cotton candy. <laughs> she did. Cotton candy? Oh, you must smell the new shampoo I'm using. Ah, that explains it then. W wait, did I just say that or think that... Who are you? <laughs> what? Party throw extraordinaire. But I can't talk right now. I'm looking for something. What are you looking for? for? 
Some other ponies said there was a spiky-headed monster in there. <laughs> I can't seem to find it anywhere, though. You think it'd stick out like a sore hoof? Have you seen it? I think they Does meant it. Mean... No? Yeah. yeah. I'm getting so sick of this place. Hey! Turn that frowny upside down! <laughs> How can I? I did such a lousy job in court today. And Twilight probably hates my guts for what I did. Hey, you know Twilight? Me too! <laughs> Do you know Twilight Sparkle? Yep, we're the best yeah, of the best friends. Yeah, thinking of that Oh, that reminds me. I'm supposed to go to court today and Wait. check for Rainbow Dash. Aren't so you I'm making a uh, party I'm for Phoenix? Oh, I'm already here. Yay! <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but you missed the trial. Out of all the pastel grass chewers I've met, this one is definitely the weirdest. Pastel grass chewers. I better be careful. I think she can read minds. Yes, is she can. Is she okay? For the time being, yes. The trial is being postponed. I'm actually Rainbow Dash's lawyer, Phoenix Wright. Ooh, neato! So, what you doing right now, Feeny? Feeny? <laughs> Feeny? That's... Never mind. Well, I don't know what I should be doing yes, right now, to be honest. that's how Meowth no called you. All. Why don't you go talk to Dashie about the trial? Wait a minute. She had Cyclox! Cyclox? Is that some kind of breakfast cereal? <laughs> Sounds even me. Is it made with real locks and not grossly grossly artificial locks? Thanks for the advice, um, Pinkie Pie. Oh, I'm yeah, going to the detention yeah, center now. That's mine. <laughs> oh, what? That was a jump. <laughs> I really hope she isn't mad at me after what happened. Oh, no, 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 no! What? R Rainbow Dash? I can't bear to live anymore. Throw the book at me. L let them send me to the sun. There's nothing left for me in Equestria. Oh yeah. Rainbow Dash, get a hold of yourself. Fluttershy is her you best friend. Be upset over those you know, pictures. Oh yeah, the pictures. Easy for you to say. Now the show it. Will show it now. Let me in. Ponyville is gonna laugh at me forever. Do you show it? They weren't that um bad. R really, I'm sure everyone will forget by tomorrow. I guarantee it. How can I forget? There's no way anyone's forgetting images like You those. didn't even show that. You think so? I know so. I'm always right. My name is Phoenix Wright, after <laughs> all. What well the? That wasn't funny. It was yeah, kind of funny. It was. Thanks for trying to cheer me up, though. I appreciate it. You're welcome. By the way... Yes? What is it? What was that terrible bad performance in the court today? I could have done a better job defending myself. I, I... No, you for them. defense attorney must suck horse apples if you're supposed to be the best one. Look, I know I screwed up, but I'm gonna make it up to you and Fluttershy tomorrow. Come on. Fluttershy? <laughs> uh, what? She got what she deserved after she betrayed me like that. Hey, it tore me up having to do that. It was the only way I could save you. Fluttershy didn't betray you. Give me a break! This is the thanks I get for all the times I stuck up for her sorry flank. She was just telling the truth. Truth? You proved she was lying though. She didn't see Apple. No, she didn't lie. But she did see you leave the forest. You were there, weren't you? Whatever. We are ex-friends as of now. I can tell you were trying your hardest to defend me, even if you did do a crummy job. Gee, thanks. She pretty much said, Yup, Rainbow Dash did it! <laughs> what kind of a friend does that? Rainbow Dash, for the last time, she was telling the truth, what she saw. Actually, that brings me to why I'm here. What? Why are you here? The truth. I want to know what you were really doing near the Everfree Forest the night of the murder. Take that! The Lokes. It's time to break them. I told you already. I was practicing for the race. Nope. <sighs> it still works after that incident this morning. Uh huh? It works, but Twilight has the same damage. What the? What was that all about anyway? Ugh, <sighs> forget about that. It still works and that's all that matters. Okay, there they are. Time to break them. Sorry. But I don't believe you, my little pony. <laughs> my Not for a single solitary second. You're my lawyer and you don't believe me? That's reassuring. 
Let's play a game, Rainbow Dash. I'm gonna guess what you were really doing near the crime scene that night, and you're gonna tell me if I'm right. You can go right ahead and do that, but I'm sticking to my... <coughs> I don't think you were practicing at all. I think you were doing something far more important. L like what? Like, oh, I don't know. Maybe that <laughs> Maybe uh, eight? Uh, uh, I, I mean, to get those pictures back? No? Then why were you practicing there if no one ever goes in there willingly? That's true. Uh, uh, well... I know there was someone in the forest the night of the murder. Put your money where, where your yeah. mouth is. Who do you think I was meeting? Ace Swift. The fact your feathers were found all around the clearing proves you were there that night. And who else was in the clearing that night? The victim, of course. You needed to be there to see him. You also just told me ponies avoid going in there. Yeah. So I'm willing to bet he wanted to meet with you in private. And what better place to pick than the middle of a forest nobody ever goes into? Ah! No! Yes. Run down. Uh, I mean, uh, no, <laughs> you're wrong. He, he was just competition. Why would I want to meet him? I have better things I could be doing. Like what? I don't know. Nothing. Something like that? Oh, please. Maybe he had something you wanted. What do you mean? Those pictures? I'm saying maybe he had something important to you. Something you'd move heaven and earth for. I'm a pretty self-satisfied pony. I've got everything I need. Well, besides fortune and glory, and I don't think he could give Danny, me they are going to show What them. could he possibly have that I'd want? I'm glad you asked that, Rainbow Dash. You are? There's one thing that you absolutely needed that I know he had. I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. The reason you went to go meet him is... Take that! These! <laughs> Put those away no. before the pony sees them! I want to see them! Even right now, your anxiety shows you absolutely didn't want these pictures floating out and about. Yes, 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 you're right. I was meeting him about these. Can you please just put them away now? No, show them. This brings us to the money question. Why did he have these pictures? Oh, no, come on. He's dead. What a bummer. Guess we'll never know. I actually think I know why. You do? Yes. I can think of one reason why he'd want to meet you over pictures like these. He was blackmailing you, wasn't he? Blackmail... I'm willing to bet my attorney badge he wanted you to toss the equestrian badge. Which attorney badge? The human? I was told or the suspecting him was the wake of all of success. <laughs> he was probably threatening you to let him win the race. Wow. Hmm? You're really good. <laughs> it's true. Ace was trying to force me to drop out of the equestrian 500. How did it start? I got home two days ago and saw this letter on my doorstep. What? I'll let your secret out if you don't drop out of the Equestrian 500. Meet in the Everfree Forest Clearing, 8.35 tonight for negotiations. At first I didn't know what secret it was talking about, but attached to the message was one of those pictures. About those pictures... Why are you... It's a hobby, all right! I bet you have skeletons in your closet too, Mr. 20-something who plays with toys! Okay, okay, I won't ask about them anymore. Do you have any idea how he got them, though? I the have teasing. No My best guess is that the jerk was stalking me, trying to get dirt on me. Rainbow Dash. Yes, what is it? I want you to know that I trust you, and I'm going to need you to trust me when I ask you these next series of questions. Huh? I know you may be scared this will make you look guilty, but I know <coughs> you're innocent. Uh, I'm not scared! Why did you move that cloud to the crime scene and set it off? <sighs> but, but, I, I, I didn't... Please, Rainbow Dash, you can trust me. I won't think any differently of you in light of what you tell me. I know you didn't kill him. Okay, I'll tell you. I did move the cloud there, and I did set it off. I just wanted to give him a scare, that's all. A scare? Yes, she does that all the time. You did move the cloud over the forest clearing? As 
soon as I saw the requirements of the blackmail letter, I knew it was Ace and that all those rumors about him were true. He's a blackmailing cheater. So I set up the cloud over the clearing earlier that day with the intent of declining his little offer. So you weren't going to drop out in spite of him leaking the pictures? No way! I'm not going to let some loser have his way with me, even if it meant those pictures getting out. I have too much pride for that. I find that really admirable. <laughs> Thanks. This is also my first year competing in the race. I just reached the required age to participate. Oh. I've been way too anxious to just drop what out. What you? RBD spells victory! You sure you can take 500 miles? It's longer than it sounds, you know. There's some checkpoints along the track set up so the racers can have some R&R. &R, but that's a little problem I keep having. There's no doubt I'm fast, but I tire out along the way. I'm not used to flying that long. In races like these, you should pace yourself accordingly. Just Don't like what I did. Start. Save all your energy for the home stretch. Kind of like how I don't present all my evidence right from the start. I'll try to keep that in mind. But let's get back on topic, shall we? I'm supposed to be your lawyer, not your coach. Right. That's true. Anyway, I wasn't planning on killing him. Just give him a bit of a startle. You know, just kicking some dirt in his face for messing with me. The cloud shoots a lightning bolt directly under it when activated. I mess around with ponies by scaring them with clouds all the time, but I got an extra big one in his case to make the sound as loud as possible. I guess it was a little dangerous getting one that big. So it didn't hit him when you set it off? No, I made sure it wasn't over him. Even though it was really dark outside, so, yeah. I in the court today, Someone really moved the, the cloud or the body. Close to touching him. When the lightning bolt lit up the area, it made him scream like a little girl and left a really sissy look on his mug. You should have seen it. It was priceless. Then I just hightailed it out of there as fast as I could. That's probably when Fluttershy saw her. Why didn't you tell anyone about this blackmail earlier? I didn't want any pony to know about the blackmail because, the you know, they would wonder what he was blackmailing me with. I see. Then those pictures would get out. You believe me, right? He was absolutely fine when I left, I swear! Yes, I believe you. Though more questions arise from this. More questions? How did he end up dead directly under the cloud? I was trying desperately to convince the court it was the second bolt that killed him. That would make this all an accident, since you have no control over it. But then we have that lightning doesn't strike the same place twice thing that Trixie was talking about. That's true. It's a new type of storm cloud the Pegasi are using to protect ponies from situations like this. Since it can't hit in the same place twice, they can just stand under a cloud after the first bolt. So the safest place is under the cloud. That's new. It's really something. The weather just works by itself where I live. I kinda wish it worked that way here. I'd have a lot more free time on my hooks so I could perfect my sonic ray boom or my fantastic Philly flash. Are those dancers or something? <laughs> close, close. From what Very I close. hear, you're also the weather manager. I need some information regarding how the lightning here in Equestria works. What do you need to know? Well, is it true the bolt causes the noise? Yeah, it is. I don't know how it works exactly, but I'm pretty sure when it touches the ground or anything attached to the ground, like, say, a tree, it sends out vibrations which makes the boom. I'm no meteorologist, but I'm pretty sure lightning doesn't work like that. Then again, I keep forgetting I'm in a land full of magic. So yeah, if the lightning, tackle and lightning, hit the golf club, which has burned, it wouldn't make a sound. Yeah, I wouldn't make a sound, and I know what you're thinking, but that couldn't happen. Why not? That itchy racing suit. Yes. Oh, right. I remember that being brought up. That's that lightning-proof suit that you Pegasuses wear for the race, right? The plural is Pegasi. I absolutely hate wearing that thing, but while in the air, you're pretty much invulnerable to lightning. Weren't there some exposed parts on it, though? Yes, there are. But while you're in the flying position, those parts are covered up. They're only exposed when you're on all fours and grounded. This is sounding more and more hopeless for me the more I talk about it. Try to cheer up. I'll find out what really happened and get you out of here. Thank you, Nix. Okay, Rainbow Dash. I'm gonna go do some more investigating in light of this new information. Alright, catch you later. Oh, wait, one more thing. Yeah. Yes? Pinkie Pie. I bumped into her after the trial. I'm guessing she's a friend of yours. She wanted to cheer you on in court today, but sadly, it seems she was late. Uh, is she always that, uh, loopy? Yes. 
Yeah, that's just Pinkie Pie being Pinkie Pie. <laughs> okay, just thought I'd let you know. Well, goodbye, Rainbow Dash. Wait! Jeez, I just can't leave this place. Yes? What is it? Here, take this. A key? What? What is it for? <laughs> Ace's hotel room. What? What? How did you get this? I was angry when I thought he was stalking me, so I snuck into his hotel room to find dirt on him. It was under the mat. What a stupid place to leave your key, huh? Uh, yeah. Stupid place. Oh, we won. No, Michelle. Put key to office in different hiding spots. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't able to find anything good in there, but maybe you can. Where's the hotel? I don't hide the keys. I, I, I have it with stay hotel myself. while he was in Ponyville. It's a little past Sugar Cube Corner. Just have Twilight show you where it is. Twilight. What's the matter? Uh, oh, nothing. Yeah, Twilight Thanks, is Dash. This mad. will really help my investigation. Goodbye, Nix. I promise I'll get you and Fluttershy out of this mess. <sighs> Fluttershy. I told you, I don't care about you. You do, I just you don't know. Angry about that testimony Fluttershy gave. I just know you'll find some super awesome evidence this time around. Yes, he will, the letter. Okay, where should I go first? Back to the forest, or to the hotel room? The hotel room, maybe? It would be a lot easier to go to the forest, Thank you. since I know the general direction, and I might find some new clues with the sun out. Hello! Then again, I already found a lot of evidence Come in the on, forest already. Pinky. Knock knock, Beanie! Though, would going in his hotel room be considered breaking and entering? Uh, yes. I'll have a bit I of think. trouble finding it without someone guiding me anyway. Uh, <laughs> <attention> now. <laughs> oh! You're Pinkie Pie. That is very That's, my name. Name. That's my name. What are you doing here? I followed you. The guards won't let me in though, so I just talked with them while I waited for you. Right, boys? Wait, oh, no. for the love of all things holy, please <laughs> take her away. Uh, <coughs> why were you following me? Because I need help finding something. Look, the spiky-headed monster they were talking about is. Oh, I did it just Pinkie a thing? long time ago. It's probably just some pony's overactive imagination. I need to find something I lost about a week ago. What did you lose? It's a secret. A secret. So, you want me to help you find something, but you won't tell me what Oh yeah, the golf club. That makes no sense! <coughs> Wait a minute. Actually, uh, Pinkie Pie? Yes? Do you know where Sugar Cube Corner is? Do you live yes, there? Do. You wanna go bake cupcakes with <coughs> me at Sugar Cube Corner? Mr. and Mrs. Cake always let me help out. Now I have an assistant. Yay! <laughs> you know how to make cupcakes, right? It's okay if you can't. I can teach you if you don't know. It's really, really, really easy. First, you beat down to 350 degrees and line the cupcake with the liners, then you toss flowers, and everything powder, and salt in the mixing bowl. A shortening milk, no flavor and taste. I press them with a little bit of chili milk, and then you beat for one minute, then swipe the cupcake with a spatula. We want to solve as many as we can from the mix. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was wondering if you knew where the hay and stay is. It's a hotel? <laughs> I heard it was by there. Of course I know how to make cupcakes. What does she think I am, a hobo? No. Yes, sir, I know where it is. I need someone to escort me. Would you be willing to do that for me? If I help you find your missing... Uh, thing? Okie dokie lucky. On one other condition. What is it? Name it. This is gonna be easier than I thought. You have to tell me a funny joke. Oh, that's what? not gonna happen. Why do I have to do that? Beanie. I don't want to hang out with some big party party <coughs> frowning stuff like that. Show me you have a sense of humor, Beanie. Do I really have to do this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's mine. Well, she seems really easy to impress anyway. <coughs> okay, this is a really good one, Pinkie Pie. Tell me, tell me! Here goes. Why do they call me uh, Phoenix Wright? Mm, I don't know. Because I'm always right. That wasn't funny. That reaction is so, funny. Do you have any better ones? Well, uh, this one time I cross-examined a parakeet. What's the deal with that? This is a lot harder than I thought. I'm a lawyer, not a comedian. Um, did you know I had the entire left side of my body cut off once? 
don't worry, I'm all right now. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, what's that? This? It's my Equestria Attorney badge. That's how I got in that detention center. <laughs> oh, wow, that is the girliest thing I've ever seen. That must have been why you're pretending to be so bad at telling a good joke. To build up to flashing that ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> I really feel like sobbing to myself in a dark corner. <laughs> so, will you show me where this hotel is now? <laughs> uh, Pinky? Oh, oh, right. The hotel is this way. <laughs> this way. Hey, wait up. <laughs> hey, and stay hot. Looky, there's that room. How do you know that? We'll get in trouble for going to his room without asking. Hey, we can't just. We just stick in here and. We're in. You just broke it. Master of unlocking. I really hope I don't get sent to the sun for this. So, this is Ace's room. Yes, two beds. As he's dead, surely he won't mind if we so he have an assistant. My name is Pinky, Perhaps. not Shirley. What are we trying to find here anyway, hmm? A magical stone? A secret chamber? A prisoner? A cup? Maybe something you ordered? Oatmeal? And the leather sword, oh, that will be a step leather joke again. Duh! When they're <laughs> hungry! Pinkie Pie. That's no, Pinkie Pie. <laughs> We're trying to find clues that relate to the crime. So, no oatmeal? No. No oatmeal. Aww. I want to try and be out of here as fast as humanly possible, okay? I don't want to be caught by anyone. Yes, right, human. I'll try to be as fast as poonily possible then. <laughs> uh, maybe it was a mistake taking her in here with me. Look, Feeny, a stepladder! Is that a clue? One, that's not a clue. Two, that's not a step ladder. It's, it's a ladder. There's a difference. There's a big difference. A step ladder has an A-frame that folds, while a ladder is flat like that one. I still don't see what the difference is. I mean, you still step on it. Right? <laughs> Wouldn't it be a step ladder then? How can I put this in a way you'll understand? You can. It's like cupcakes and muffins. Cupcakes and muffins? Exactly. Both look kind of the same, but they're totally different, like ladders and step ladders. Cupcakes have frosting on them, like yes. how step ladders have a folding frame, while muffins are usually plain, like the ladder's flat. Oh, I think I get it now. Like hacksaws and saws? Why'd they call it a hacksaw anyway? How do you know? I don't get it. It doesn't hack. Hacking is what you do with daggers and axes. And knives! Uh, <laughs> okay. <yeah>. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, she's freaking me out now. Excellent stuff. Thanks. You know a lot about ladders, Penny. Are you sure you're a lawyer and not actually a ladder connoisseur? It's just common sense. I find it annoying that a lot of people don't know the difference between the two. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wasn't the victim a Pegasus? Why would he need a ladder anyway? <laughs> He could just fly up and get the things he would need a ladder for. Meta. Maybe he was superstitious and walked back. Assistant is the Pegasus. Getting a ladder doesn't prevent bad luck. You get bad luck for walking under a ladder. What about this? Is it a paper good luck? It's a piece That's of the letter. paper. Why would it be good luck? I need an aspirin. Guess I guess they it don't have mumbo aspirin. Mumbo jumbo on it anyway. Mumbo <coughs> jumbo. Well, let me see it. <coughs> this is a letter stating my permanent leave of absence. After the Equestrian 500 is over, I can no longer work with you. We made quite the team, but I... And then it cuts off. The rest must be on the other half. Pinky, you found a clue! Is that good luck? Yes. No. W well <laughs> yes. Kinda. Good job, Pinky. Yay! <laughs> It would only make sense that Ace wrote this, since it's his room. But who was he writing it to? No. Maybe he. Oh, this no! Is Shh! 
Like, you're supposed to be in here, remember? What's the problem? My tail's twitching. Someone is coming. So, my foot fell asleep. You don't see me freaking out. Why Pinky is says under that table? something Pinkie is Pie, going to fall. Stop around and... Ow! <laughs> see? I warned you. What? You didn't say anything was going to fall on my head. Sure I did. I said my tail was twitching. That means something's going to fall. <laughs> That's ridiculous. You can't tell me you can make predictions can. like that based off body spasms. So what's that book say? You mean the thing that fell on my head? It seems like it's some sort of advanced spell book. Oh. Hey, Feeny, do you think that you can cast a spell? I can't since I'm an Earth Pony. Of course not. I'm not so a yeah, he... I can't even read the assistant anyway. is the unicorn who was in the flash. Because I saw Twilight who reading a book that just like it. Problem out. And I asked her what it was. And he was in the flash. In he was, or the she was in the flash too. Like Twilight's book. Huh? He wanted to. Continue from here. Third line. Seems someone scribbled a note here. You can get in big trouble for writing in a hotel. Why that can? No, I have to uh, translate this. Twilight said these advanced spellbooks are only available in K. Kentaro. I forget the name. Starts with a hard C, if I recall. Cookie. <laughs> no. Carrot. No. Corkscrew. No. Just stop guessing. The point is, this must be someone's personal book. I better put it back on the shelf. It was all the way up there. I can reach it. Oh, most. You have the letter. Oh. <gasps> what? You saw it too? Tell me to be quiet a second ago. Practice what you preach. I ripped my suit. You're right. You have a big hole in your armpit. Yeah, so you it's a uh, bad. Instead of reaching so high. It's a ladder! You don't realize how bad this is! I can't walk around with a big rip in my suit! I do! Why are you crying over spilled milk? Do I have to cry? Uh, Rainbow Dash! Huh? Where? Right here on the table! Well, it's her name alright. What is this? Yes, it it's like a blackmail list. list. Maybe it's a party invite! No, it's do a blackmail list. Other names are, Pinky? Nope, it doesn't ring any bells. Rainbow Dash is the only name on here I recognize. Uh oh, I have to find out who these other ponies are. I'm just on look the loop. Why? They have been I throw a party for every new pony in the world. Yeah. Alu Aluka. That reminds me. <laughs> I throw a welcome party for you. Yet. <laughs> I'm sorry, this. Feeny. I just haven't had the time today. Racing uh, in uh, Equestria uh, 5 for me there. <laughs> she seems so upset about it. Look next to Rainbow Dash's name. It's a time. 8.35 Danger Zone! I was right! It's a party invite! Rainbow Dash party at 8.35. I'll try not to be late this time. I don't think so. I think I know what this is now. You know? Tell me! Tell me! I'm not completely positive, but I think this is a- And just who are you two? Oh no, no we're, we're caught. caught! Why are you snooping well, oh, around my room? What are you doing here? <gasps> Chief! Chief, I should have the police book you two and have you thrown in jail for breaking and entering. Uh, what are you doing here? This can't be Mia. It just can't be. We're room service. Do you honestly think she's going to fall for that? Do you honestly think <laughs> I'm going to fall for... Wait a minute. I know who you are. It's me, Mia. Mia? My name is Sonata. Sonata? Sonata? Oh, what? Did I stutter? Yes, that's my name. It's not her. But Some bomb is an eye. Uncanny. On her friend. Name. Now. Phoenix Wright. Pink me in a diamond tie. Pretty throw this for me. As I thought. You were that human lawyer from the trial earlier. I can't get over this. It looks exactly like her. If she were a pony. Can you stop staring at me like that, please? What's the matter, Feeny? Cat got your tongue? That would hurt because a cat has claws and your tongue is really sensitive. Ouch! I knew Rainbow Dash was guilty, but it didn't even look like you were trying in court today. Who exactly are you? I'm the one who should be asking questions here. Seeing as you two are the ones who broke into my room, I'm betting you're the one who stole the key two days ago. But isn't this a Swift's room? You're here about him? Of course. I see. 
We were just investigating his hotel room for clues. This is his room, is it not? Hmm. Oh, yes. That is correct. You just said this was And she room, wanted to what are you? get out of blackmailing. That's strike one, Mr. Wright. I suggest you not strike out anymore. Yeah. Uh, better not get on her bad side. Ah, sorry. Actually, I'm... Or should I say was... No manager. manager in the circumstances. His... Manager? <laughs> this is getting weird. I'm sorry about what happened. Don't worry, I got over it pretty quickly. Besides, justice will be served. Your client will be punished for her crime. Hey, Rainbow Dash didn't do it! Any pony with half a brain can see that she did it, Mr. Wright. Look at all the evidence stacked against her. No matter how you look at it, she was the one who activated that cloud and killed him. Your little feather theory may have bought some time, but she is going to be found guilty tomorrow morning. I assure you. She's not. I believe in her, and I'm going to defend her to the very end, no matter what you say. <laughs> and that's why you're going to lose. From what I've gathered, you're not even from Equestria. Why place loyalty in a pony you hardly know? Did I stutter? I said because I believe her. She didn't do it. Arrogant. Just like that prostitute. No, at least she didn't die. You mean Trixie? <laughs> Trixie is Shanaida. Her. What do you have against her? <laughs> I wish to prosecute for this case, but that pig-headed showmare beat me to it. Oh. She does seem a lot more qualified to be a prosecutor than Trixie. She does. So wait, you're a prosecutor <laughs> as well as a manager? Ace and I are from Canterlot, Equestria's capital. Most of the unicorns there are jacks of all trades, so to speak. We take on as many jobs as we can to flourish our intellect and magical ability. Ace is from Canterlot. Wow, I didn't even know that. I should take another trade. Maybe bowling? No, oh, creative writing. No, no. How about scuba diving? <laughs> Is from this Canterlot place then? Yes, she is. I was in Ponyville when the murder took place, so there wasn't enough time for me to go to Canterlot and execute the procedures to prosecute this case. Trixie must have already been there when she heard about it. Yeah. How foolish. Taking a case over a silly little grudge. It's funny, really. Part of me wants you to best her. Oh. Who has the grudge now? I actually know quite a bit about her. Care to listen? Oh, okay. Oh, a story! I love stories! I'll tell you the one where me and some guy in a blue suit broke into somebody's room and rummaged their personal belongings. It's a classic. No, let's not. Oh, oh, God! <laughs> if you wouldn't mind, uh, I wasn't told much about Trixie. I was classmates with her when I was oh. just a foal. Oh, that's you? I attended the same magic classes as her. Were you friends with her or something? No. I kept to myself as I do now. I only consult with those who are worth my time. <laughs> so hey, you know what that means, that means We're both worth our time! Mira thought she oh. would like us breaking into her room. Every time you speak, you make that glare icier and icier. Continuing. The Trixie you saw in court today is how she has been all her life. An arrogant boaster. A show-off. I hate that type. She was at the top of the class. As much as I hate to say it, she's better than me. Despite me being older. Well, when it comes to magic, anyway. Ah, uh, so you're just jealous then! Pinky, is your brain the size of chewed bubblegum? I don't think so. If it were bubblegum, it would probably stick to the inside of my head, don't you think? <laughs> Pinky, just stop <coughs> talking, please! Okay, I'll stop talking. Ah, oops, sorry, I spoke. Uh, again, and again, and again, and again. Ah! That hurts. Uh, huh? Are, are you okay? Yes. Excuse me. Anyway, I'm not jealous. In fact, unlike Trixie, I'm striving to become better with magic. Not going around town and showing off a bunch of cheap parlor tricks. You should earn attention and praise for the actions you do, 
Not what you claim you can do. That's cool. So, just because she showed off in school, you hate her? Sorry, but that's a little shallow if you ask me. But is it? Do you think she's qualified to be prosecuted? She is. You saw how she acted. No professionalism at all. I've had it worse in the courtroom. Toupees, birds, whips. Whips? <laughs> no, don't ask. As long as she's getting the job done, I don't see anything wrong with it. Well, why do you want to prosecute this case so badly anyway? I, I know you were his manager, but still. Because if things were going my way, the case would have been closed by now. Cold, hard, swift justice. That's the way I work. That's not what being a lawyer is about. Yes. Then what is it about, Miss? Find the truth. Sitting back and letting a dangerous felon off the hook, scot free. No, it's about finding the truth. The truth. Yes. Attorneys aren't meant to uphold justice. We're to work to the best of our abilities to guide it and seek out the truth. You have quite the ideals, Mr. Wright. I don't know what kinds of trials and tribulations, and tribulations. You're going, but you're not changing my opinion. Rainbow Dash is guilty, and that's all no, there is isn't. to it. If you don't mind me asking, what does that eyeball stand for? It's a cutie mark. It must mean your special talent is poking Pony's eyes out. We <laughs> <laughs> are so bad. What the heck is wrong with her? Uh, are you okay? She used too much look like magic. Maybe. Yes, I'm fine. But no, my talent is perceiving and having a keen eye for detail. For instance, Mr. Wright, you're desperately trying to change the subject, hoping I forget about you breaking into my room, indicated by your nervous breathing patterns and the sweat trickling down your face. Do you have a bracelet or something? I'm trying to cover up that embarrassing rip in your armpit. I can tell by how firmly your left arm is pressed against your body compared to your right one. <laughs> and her, she's. She's thinking about. She's thinking about ladders. Wow! How did you know? You must be psychic. But I was actually thinking about step ladders. It's a ladder. <laughs> Even I could have gotten that one. Throughout the whole conversation, you keep looking at it. But Sonata, can you tell me a little bit more about Ace? What's there to say? He was good at what he did. Good at what he did? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> good at blackmailing. <laughs> what about your relationship with him? As his manager, I mean. Well? Th that's none of your business. For a second there, she kind of hesitated. Perhaps I should press this further. Mm. I want to know, Sonata. What was it like being a Swiss manager? Five? I told you, Mr. Wright, it's none of your business. And Bingo was his name, oh. I knew there was more to you than meets the eye. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some work to attend to. I would appreciate it if you left my room post haste. That's odd. Didn't she say she was going to have us arrested for breaking and entering? All right, let's go, Pinkie Pie. Yep, yep. I wish you the best of luck on the investigation. You'll need it. Did you, they just stole the book, by the way? Whew! I was sweating bullets back there. She's quite intimidating for a pony. <laughs> I didn't find her intimidating. I tried to make her smile. How do you think I did? Uh, don't quit your day job. Okay. Wait, what is my day job anyway? Throwing parties is more of a hobby. Pinky, you still haven't told me. How did you manage to be so late for the trial? I slept in. <laughs> That's all. That's it? Yes. Is something wrong? No, I guess I was just expecting a better reason than that. I have a bad habit of being late. That's why I don't plan parties too far in advance. I'll just be late and miss all the fun. So I just throw them whenever I want. <laughs> that says a lot about you. I thought you were a bit annoying at first. But I can see now that you're just, uh, you're just <laughs> a free spirit. Free spirit, that's Your heart's nice. in the right place, though. You remind me a lot of a girl I know. Aw, thanks, Beanie. So, what do you think happened, Pinkie Pie? Hmm? The crime, I mean. What do you think really happened? Let me think. Oh, 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 I know! <laughs> okay, but... Maybe, just maybe, Rainbow Dash... Yes? Maybe she has an evil twin sister <laughs> nobody knows about! Yeah, so there are two Rainbow Dashes, one good, one evil! No. Double Rainbow Dash? All the way! 
that would be so intense. Don't you think someone would notice two rainbow dashes by now? Yes. All those colors, they'd stick out. An evil twin sister nobody knows about doesn't seem plausible. No, Feeny, I think I'm onto something here. We have to find that bad rainbow before she starts again. Let's call her Wabniar. Wabniar? Wabniar? That's just... Ugh, why am I even arguing about this? Hey, look there! Huh? Hey, you two. Did you by any chance receive a letter not posted to you? Whoa! Uh, I, 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 uh, eyes! <laughs> Have you seen an optometrist about that? Optometrist? Feeny! That's oh, mean. Uh, I mean, I... I <laughs> mean no see letter? That's just great. What's the matter? Some airhead gave an important letter to the wrong pony and I'm trying to track it down. It's fuzzy, would that be? Looking at those entrancing eyes. Can she see all around her? Maybe she can see through the very fabric of time and space. Maybe? Hey! Guess my reputation precedes me. Phoenix Wright, best attorney in the. You're that big loser lawyer from Rainbow Dash's trial! Oh. You're famous, Feeny! I wish I could have seen you in action! I think the word you're looking for is infamous. <laughs> Remember that part where you didn't know Pegasus could move clouds? Oh, how I laughed and laughed! Except I wasn't laughing. Look, I was just underprepared. And in case you haven't noticed by me not being a pony, I'm not from around here. Who are you anyway? The name's Derpy Hook. See it comes again. It's kind of a cruel name. Well, Derp. Feeny, no, stop! <gasps> Think you know it's. <laughs> What's wrong? <coughs> Don't say her name. Why not? She's really, 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 really sensitive about it. <laughs> Don't say her name, whatever you do. I think it's kind of a harsh name, but she seems okay with it. Listen to that upbeat, oblivious voice. Just trust me on this one. Yes, trust, trust me, Kita. I don't see what the big deal is, though. Okay, you we're done. Right -o. Well, dear, I, uh, I mean, uh, blonde maned pony. What did you think of the trial? Blonde maned pony. Didn't I tell you my name? Uh, I, uh, I. Yes. I. Yes. I, uh, like your mane. Oh really? I did it up all night this morning. <laughs> yeah, it really looks good. Thanks. I said something about your hair, but it really just looks like you stood in front of a fan for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Is this what I get for trying to be nice? I'd like to hear about what you thought of the trial, since apparently you were there. Oh, I was there all right. It was... Oh, hey, I know. I'll tell you in poem. I've been told I'm a really good poet when reciting mail carrier code. Oh? What? Okay. Ahem. The defense really seemed out of luck. If you want my opinion, you really <coughs> need to suck. Mr. Beard was indecisive and fickle. Fluttershy seems like she is in quite the pickle. Little Apple Bloom heard that first bolt touch the ground. But why didn't the second one make a sound? The prosecution's put downs were quite rich. But honestly, she was being a big stuck up. Me. <laughs> oh, really good. Thank you. Thank As you timed. Actually, it really wasn't that bad. Yeah. I better be off now. I'll be in deep doo doo if I don't find that letter. Bye. Ah, by the way, I should warn you <coughs> too. Yes. There is a nasty unicorn calling ponies terrible names out and about. I have a feeling that's our lovely prospect. No, that's the uh, <laughs> time. See ya. So, did you get the bonus in that hotel? <coughs> Yeah, it should come in handy tomorrow. I wonder why Sonata didn't have us arrested, though. Maybe she likes you. I highly doubt that. She was shooting daggers at me with her eyes. Maybe she, she liked me at when that that happened. Too? That must have been so cool. I wish I could shoot daggers from my eyes. It's a metaphor, Pinky. But it sort of does look that way. <laughs> look at my suit. It's too easy to. You're so upset about that. Let them go. Of course I am. This is the only one I have on me. I can't walk into court with a rip suit. I look so unprofessional. You could just go naked like me. <laughs> no. Crazy. I'm not gonna show up in court naked. Why not? <laughs> Everybody else does it. Uh, no, it Eric doesn't. Oh hey, I know I can fix that for you in a jiffy. Well, it's better than going in my birthday suit. Uh, who can fix this for me? Eric can. Yes. I guess we can make a detour to get this repaired. 
I feel awkward with this hole in my armpit. Carousel Boutique is over yonder, Feeny. Vroom, vroom! Vroom, vroom! <laughs> Stop running ahead of me like that! <coughs> Carousel Boutique. Wow, this place is really posh. It probably reflects the owner's personality. Oh, visitors. Whoa! A marshmallow! <laughs> oh, it's just you, Pie, and. <laughs> That's Feeny! <laughs> What's the matter? That hair! <sighs> Go ahead. Just make fun of it. I've actually gotten used to it. What's it gonna be? Why is there a hedgehog sleeping on your head? That one's always a classic. Make fun of it? Whatever do you mean? Oh, hey, did I see? I think it's fabulous! <laughs> huh? Uh, you like it? Like it? I love it! <laughs> it's so dynamic, so intense, so daring! It just screams at me! What's the phrase I'm looking for? Take that? Take that? Take that? Yes! It screams! Take that, world! I can handle anything you send my way! But you must tell me who does your hair. I'd like to use this style on some of my customers. I sort of just style it myself in the mirror. Then you have a natural talent for this. <laughs> Thanks, you're making me blush. Oh, and that marvelous royal blue suit of yours. I most pocket it purple myself. But after setting my eyes on such a sophisticated, elegant suit like this, I might change my mind. It has so much character in it. It boldly proclaims to the world. Uh, uh, help me out here. W what's the way to say it? Hold it? Why, yes, that's it. I am a figure of great importance, and you will listen to what I have to say. <laughs> Wait, what's this? What's wrong? There's a giant hole in your suit. Yep, yep, that's what we came here for, Rarity. This will not do. This will simply not do at all. We can't have you walking around with this gaping hole in your suit. It's an indignified spit in the face of fashion. Really? I don't like the hole much either, but it isn't that big. No, no, it's positively huge. Give it to you right now. I must fix up your suit. And since you're such a sharp dresser and a fantastic stylist, I'll do it free of charge. Okay, if you're offering. That's nice. Now, Mr. Feeney, let us talk. I would like to know more about you. I do enjoy some friendly discourse while I'm working. But you're sewing. Don't you need to concentrate? Magic. <laughs> Stitching is second nature to me, and this is such a simple job. Multitasking is my middle name, after all. Really? I just thought it was Tabitha. Okay. Tabitha? And please don't call me Feeny. One pony calling me that is more than enough. What shall I call you then? My name is Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. Oh, I see. So you must be that human attorney Twilight had hired. Yeah, that's me. You have been quite the talk of the town since this morning. I have? Very much so. News around Ponyville travels exceptionally fast, being so small and such. I found out that Twilight had brought you here from a whole other world. Yes, she yeah, did. that's true. Oh, how rude of me. I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Rarity, or Miss Rarity, if you prefer. Nice to meet you, Rarity. I have to say... Out of all Twilight's friends I've been introduced to, you seem the most mature. You don't say. Well, I must admit, there's no surprise about that. <laughs> Just let her find me. <laughs> barbaric and immature. No offense, Pinkie Pie. <laughs> Men taken. Rarity, on the other hand, conducts herself like a proper lady. But back on the subject of this other world you're from, could you do me a favor, Mr. Wright? What would that be? Are there ponies where you come from? Yeah, there are. Mm -hmm. Excellent! Before you go back to your world, I mean, I want to give you some of my concepts. Your concepts? Yes, for you see, I am a designer and an entrepreneur of sorts. I would like you to give my work to some of the ponies you know and ask for their opinions on them. This could really help me expand my business. Please do tell them to be honest, though. I really need some constructive criticism. I'll have a little trouble doing that. They don't talk. They don't talk? My word, what a strange world you came from, Mr. Wright. Uh, <laughs> ponies. None of them can fly or use magic. Yes, they that's don't true. do that either. And they just sort of sit in the petting booth and perplex. And they kind of smell. My, my, my. Perhaps they just need a highly cultured pony from Equestria, such as myself, to teach them some proper etiquette. 
for a rockin' party to liven them up. Yeah, sure. So, if you're friends with Twilight Sparkle and Pinkie Pie here, you must be friends with Rainbow Dash. Yes? Why, yes. Yes, I am, Mr. Wright. And you're aware of what's happening to her right now? Yes, I am. Don't worry, Rarity. Beanie and I are hot in the trail of Blob Niar. <laughs> yeah, it's Rainbow Dash's evil twin sister that nobody knows about. Rainbow Dash has a twin sister? I didn't know that. You didn't know that? Of course you didn't. Did you catch the no pony knows about part? <laughs> You're a pony and you don't know. See? Pinky, there is no evil twin sister. But, Rarity, I don't recall seeing you at the trial today. Were you there? I wanted to go to the trial. Really, I did. She was at the bus stop. He's <laughs> making her Why not? Pinkie Pie was late and missed it because she slept in or something. I'm sure you have a better reason. Hey! You see, I was expecting a package today that I've been really yes. anxious to get my hooves on. What was it? A shipment of imported perfume. It was supposed to be here on my doorstep this morning. So I went to the post office yeah. to ask why it hadn't arrived, expecting to be in and out in two shakes of a lamb's tail. And it didn't go that way, I'm guessing. No. There she goes. <laughs> Compensation for this? No, not at all. At the very least, they said they'd put in another shipment for me. It will take another week to get here, though. Oh, I know. Mr. Wright, how about I give you a copy of my invoice? No. What? I thought you weren't charging me. Oh, no, no, no. I mean the invoice for my perfume. Why would I need that? You are a lawyer, correct? Perhaps you can use you it really need that it. horrible post office for the emotional to tie Lenora into the case? Uh. That will teach them to put out more pens! Right. So, uh, tell that? me more about this perfume you ordered. Oh my gosh, it is simply to die for, Mr. Wright! Though I'm not that familiar with its scent yet. It's a rare fragrance, after all. Like morning dew on a blooming rose, that's the slogan. <laughs> Well, it's better than the slogan Maya thought up. And you're getting a shipment of it? Just one bottle, actually. I'm looking at the invoice here, and that's a lot of zeros for one bottle. It's very long-lasting, you see. The aroma lingers for days. One bottle can easily suffice for a year's worth of use. Oh. You want to wear perfume, Beanie? You know that's for girls, right? I guess I'll go with that badge you have. <laughs> you mean that? Yeah, that's my Equestria attorney badge. Please tell me at least you think it looks as good as my hair in my suit. Compared to your suit and hair, uh, <laughs> the pink is too much, honestly. Even the citizens of this place can see this thing looks embarrassingly stupid. <laughs> and no, Pinky, I didn't want to wear the perfume. I was just wondering why it's so darn expensive. Now look at that. Your suit is as good as new. Oh, wow. You really did a good job patching it up. I can't even see where you sewed it up. 
Please do take better care of your suit in the future, Mr. Wright. But if you have any more problems with it, please don't hesitate to come to me. I would be more than happy to take on such a fine work of art again. Thank you. You really helped me out of a jam. This is my only suit I have while I'm here in Equestria, you see. Your only one? <gasps> Idea! How about I make you another oh. one? Perhaps I can encrust the label with some rubies. Red and blue go well together, but <laughs> topaz and amethyst might bring out the color. I would like you to. Maybe some sunglasses would match the... She seems to have gone off on a tangent. Yeah, she'll probably be like this for about an hour or so. Oh well. I don't know where we should go next, though. Fluttershy's cottage. Fluttershy's cottage? Why do you want to go there? I don't want to go there. The script says we go there to talk to someone. <laughs> the script. <laughs> script? What script? Duh! The one the voice actors are <laughs> Pinky, what on earth are you talking about? Taking what voice actors? <laughs> like the people who do voices for characters in cartoons? I didn't look too far into it since I don't like spoilers. You know, read the end of the story. What? You're completely going over my head. It says I should be going to Fluttershy's cottage, and that's where I'm going to go. You should come too, because it says you say, Why does she always run ahead of me like that? I better follow her, though. And follow me. See you there, Feeny. Pinkie Pie, wait! Why does she always run ahead of me like that? I better follow her, though. <laughs> <laughs> what? How did she do that? So she doesn't read mine. She just read the screen. <laughs> Hmm, I expected there to be more police here looking into that feather. Why is it you wanted to come here again? You know what? I forgot! <laughs> so you just brought me here for no reason? Yes. Hey, you! Mm -hmm. Huh? What incarnation do you think you're doing? A project? No, 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 no! Not you! <laughs> Why, well, I'd have knocked you upside the head. Oh, you're not... <laughs> another mistaken identity. So tell me, Mr. Fancy Pants Lawyer, where do you get off going around accusing sweet little heart of gold Fluttershy like that? A accusing Fluttershy? Well, I... Forget it. I already know why you did it. But you just... You did it to buy Rainbow another day, didn't you? Well, yeah, I didn't want to go and blame Fluttershy. But if I hadn't, Rainbow Dash would be getting a really strong tan right now. I know that, but lying are still lying. It's what's called a white lie. The ones that are for good intentions. I'm sure Fluttershy doesn't appreciate your white lie. Yeah, look, I'm sorry I did that to her. It wasn't even really a lie. I just proposed the possibility, questioning Fluttershy's alibi. Alibi? Uh, stop trying to use your fancy side of tongue to speak to confuse me. In any case, I'm going to make everything right tomorrow. You're Apple Bloom's sister, right? Huh? How'd you know that? <laughs> Take a wild guess, partner. Partner. <laughs> Fancy. <laughs> Is it really that noticeable? Hey! Are you making fun of the way I speak? No. No, of course not. But who is this with you? Big Man. Big Man and Dash. Her brother. Oh, he speaks. Oh, so you're siblings. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'll make everything right tomorrow. Or like I said, I'll knock you upside the head. Don't worry. Me and Pinkie Pie have found some evidence that's definitely going to come in handy. Yep, that's right, Applejack. That reminds me. Why weren't you at the trial today, Pinkie Pie? Between you, me, and Rarity, I'm the only one who showed up. I slept in! That's it? That's it. <laughs> Dead nabbit! Dead I have a better excuse than that. <laughs> oh? Okay. I slept in an extra, extra bunch. <sighs> we spoke with Rarity, and she kind of, uh, uh, got held up in traffic. That just goes to show you that Applejack is the most dependable pony there is. Always be yes, she is more <laughs> 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 than him for that. Yup. Trophy for being dependable? I wish I had a trophy. I never even got one when I was in Little League. Though I know you're Apple Bloom's elder sister, but I don't know anything about you besides that. Name's Applejack. Proud owner of Sweet Apple Acres. Sweet Apple Acres? Oh yeah. You're not from this neck of the woods, are you? It's an apple farm run by the Apple family, ten minutes due south from here. With a name like Applejack, I guess you would set up a birth to be put in that business. <laughs> I'm not here to talk about that, though. Have you two seen that sister of mine? No, 
Last time I saw her, she was in paradise. <laughs> I've never seen her. Oh, except when I was asleep. Then it was with General Cake and Major Muffin. Major Muffin. I had a dream. I was commanding a battalion of sweets fighting off an army of salad sparrows. Oh. <laughs> it was like nutrition versus sweets. I didn't know which side to enlist on at first, but I ended up going to the tasty side. It was a grueling war. Many gumdrops and chocolate chips lost their lives, but they triumphed in the end. <laughs> That's a nice dream. <laughs> So why are you looking for Apple Bloom? She's supposed to be serving her grounded. You know, after going in that forest so late. But that little troublemaker ran off as soon as she was excused from the trial. She was supposed to wait for me. By the way, I have to thank you, Phoenix Rat. Yeah? Thank me. Weren't you just threatening to knock me upside the head just a minute ago? Yeah, I still want to do that. <laughs> but I have to thank you for getting my little sister to tell the truth on that there stand. You sure have an extensive vocabulary there, Big Macintosh. I don't know if Twilight told you, but I represent the element of honesty, and I would like to see my kin follow suit, if you know what I mean. Element of honesty? Yep, mine's laughter. It's like the best one ever. What's the matter? Do you want an element too, Feeny? We can think of one for you. Uh huh. Uh, sugar cube? I don't think it works like that. Hmm, what element could you be? Oh, 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 I got it! Phoenix Wright with his nifty do represents the spirit of hair gel. <laughs> no comment. Old Beardy came by the farm and told me and Big Mac that he saw Apple Bloom at Twilight. Old Beardy? Oh, you must be a judge. judge. What's he doing wandering around this place? I wonder what Apple Bloom's doing. Looking good. Yeah, that's a good question. The last time I saw Twilight, she was as peeved as you were at me about that little incident in the courtroom. Oh, she'll get over it. That is, if you honestly intend on setting things right. Right? Of course I'll set things right. <laughs> My name is Phoenix, right, after all. Well. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't have to Funny. Yeah, Feeny, you really need to have more variety. Am, Am I, I the only, only one who thinks that, that joke is funny? funny? No. I may want to knock you a new one, but I'll be rooting for you anyway. Your rainbow's only hope right now, and I hate to see her get banished. She doesn't deserve that. I know for a fact she didn't kill anyone. And no matter what, I'll make everyone see that truth. That's the spirit. You may be ain't as bad as I made you have to be. I'd like to confirm something, Applejack. Yeah, tell us it. Partner? About Apple Bloom. Did she really arrive at home when she said she did? Yep, ten after nine. That's when she got home. She got a scolding from Big Mac and I for going into the forest so late. A scolding from him? What did he do? Yupper into some. <laughs> it's just that this second lightning bolt has been plaguing my mind. How is it both your sister and Fluttershy didn't hear or see it? I was thinking that Ace Pegasus fella intercepted it before it touched the ground. But that makes one of your contrafiction doohickeys. Contrafiction. Contrafiction? <laughs> you mean contradiction? Yeah, one of those. Couldn't hit him because of that suit. I was thinking the same thing. But according to Rainbow Dash, that suit makes you completely invulnerable to lightning while in the air. Not to mention it would have made a sound and left a mark if it hit him on the ground where he was vulnerable. Ugh. All this thinking makes my head hurt. I couldn't hold a match for the prosecution today, but things are going to be different now that I've had time to get a better grasp of the situation. Speaking of that, you've got to show that stuck-up attention horse a thing or two for me. <laughs> attention horse? You know, attention that no good horse. snake in the grass. <laughs> hmm. Oh, you must mean Trixie. Yeah, her. She's a great A example of what Lionel lead to. Her fibbing and ponytails caused that big old Ursa to come stomping through Ponyville. Twilight told me a bit about that. It wasn't her fault. It, it no, was the first time she opened that big mouth of hers in the trial today. I have noticed Trixie has that effect on a lot of ponies in these parts. She's just doing this whole thing because she's all salty with Rarity, Twilight, Rainbow, and I. Wait a minute. I knew she had a grudge against Twilight, but why you and the other two? Because you rained her show. She was showing off and bragging like she was the bee's knees. So the others and I called Trixie out on her hooey. Turns out we were right. She was great and powerful after all. Well, I ended up proving that. In fact, I told Apple Bloom to call Trixie out if she gave her a hard time in the trial today. Oh, so you're responsible for that. <laughs> Guilty as charged. <laughs> that was pretty entertaining. 
watching Trixie get verbally served by a child. Certainly brightened up my day. I know, right? But isn't Trixie a performer? Isn't she supposed to show off and blow things out of proportion? Just what I said. I don't think the decent and sort of powerful Trixie would really attract a crowd. Not defending her or anything. As there were times I wanted to smack her upside the head. No, you don't understand. Remember how she was calling you Mr. Not Right today? It was like that, only on a stage. Actually, she was calling me Mr. Wrong. You know, because it's the opposite of right and... Same difference. The point is, it was just unbearable. I want you to do your best, Phoenix Wright. Show her what Ponyville is made of. Prove Rainbow was innocent and rubbing in that smug snotty <coughs> shit on her face of hers. Deal. Let's shake on it. Okay. <laughs> well, go on. I'm not touching that hoop. Why not? Because there's spit all over it. <laughs> You're just as prissy as one. <laughs> Don't want to get your fancy pants below your hands dirty, eh? <sighs> I think we can conclude this agreement with a nod. Fine, then. I bet you're moseying on now, partner. Gotta find that little kid. I'm gonna go check Twilight's place. If you two see Apple Bloom, could you tell her to go on home? I don't want her running out and about with murders happening and all. She's with Twilight, though, so I suppose I shouldn't be worried. Yeah, we'll be sure to if we see her. Thank you. Oh, I'm not to give you a knock upside the head, but I'm not so busy. <laughs> well, what a pleasant way to say goodbye to someone. Goodbye, Applejack. Goodbye, Big Macintosh. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Was that the reason you wanted me to come here, Pinky? To speak with Applejack? No, it wasn't that. There should be another reason. Oh, here it comes! Huh? <laughs> What's coming? I cough. And? That means something strange is going to happen. Okay, Pinkie lucky. Pie, we've been through this already. You can't predict things she based can. off of... What? What? Wait, how? I've never seen one of those things before. Who is thing. calling you? That's impossible. Field. How could someone be calling yes. me? Yes. So, what do you do with that thing anyway? I guess I just answer it. I hope trans-dimensional calls don't hurt my brain. <laughs> hello? Phoenix Wright? Yes, that's me. Who is this? A concerned friend. Who is going to Concerned friend? A friend? Tell them I say hello! Tell me. How and why are you phoning me? I want to help you. How? I want to help you with a trial tomorrow. I have some evidence for you that can clear your client indefinitely. What? Are you serious? Yes, I want you to meet me at the clearing. Where the crime took place. Alright, I'll be right there. Pinky, we have to meet you. alone. Huh? We must meet alone. There's no other way I can see you. Why? <laughs> I might get lost if I go in there alone. Do you want my help or not? Okay, okay, I'll go in alone. Good. I'll be waiting for you. You made the right choice, Phoenix Wright. Tell me, though, who is this? I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> who are you talking to, Phoenix? This, this seems, seems a bit shady. Someone wants to meet me alone in the forest. But he said he wanted to help me. How is he calling me anyway? Yes. Equestria doesn't seem to have cell phones. Phoenix? Pinky, I'm sorry, but I have to go solo here. Huh? I just got a lead that could win me the trial tomorrow. But whoever I was speaking to wants to meet me alone. That sounds kind of suspicious. Yes, it does. <gasps> Wait, I know who that was! Really? Yeah. Yes, it was Wabniar! <laughs> do something nasty! Pinky, there is no Wabniar. Besides, this person was male, and they said they wanted to help me. Oh, they did? <laughs> then that changes everything! I'll wait for you by the entrance. I'll be right back out. The pathway more or less leads to that clearing, and the sun's still out. I shouldn't have trouble navigating myself through. Be careful in there, Feeny. It's pretty dangerous. Okay. I'll be right back. <laughs> Promise. Okay. Hello? I'm here. Now you please control. Where is this mysterious friend of mine? He said he'd be waiting for me. It's me, Phoenix Wright. You said you wanted to help me. Is this someone's idea of a prank? No. Hey, I know. I'll just hit the redial button on my phone. It's one there. What? No connection point. 
Then how was he able to call me earlier? Maybe all these trees are just interfering with the signal. No. I'll wait five more minutes. Then I'm leaving. Things are getting creepy. Oh, animation. You are not in the game? In my head. Did anyone get the license plate number of that truck? <laughs> Where am I? I'm still in the forest, but I'm not in the clearing anymore. Damn it! It was a trap! Now I'm lost. I need to get out of here. This must be how Apple blew himself the other day. Even though the sun's still out, I can hardly see. Wait a minute. What? Where is it? All my evidence is gone! Ah! Oh, someone must have taken it while I was knocked out! Think that works? Hello? Yes, the think that works. Nice puppies. The best thing you could say. <laughs> I'm frozen in place. I I'm too scared to move. They're going to attack me! Come on, Fatasha! No! What? Uh-huh. Okay. You should be ashamed of yourselves! Being a poor, innocent, defenseless Mr. Phoenix like that! What was that like? Fluttershy? You two are acting like a pair of big, mean bullies! What would your mothers think if they saw you behaving this way? I don't believe this. This can't be the same cowardly little pony. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, I want the two of you to go back home and think about what you've done. <laughs> that was close, Mr. Phoenix. Those species of blue pines are known to rip the prey apart within a few seconds. Fluttershy, thank you. You saved my life. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. Even if you had been killed. You would have come back to life in your ashes more magnificent than ever. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fluttershy, listen. The reason I accused you earlier. I know you didn't do any of that garbage I was spouting. I just needed to buy another day to clear Rainbow Dash's name. Though I had good intentions, I did it at your expense without your say in the matter. I'm sorry I did that. It's all right, Mr. Phoenix. I forgive you. You forgive me? Just like that? Yes. Yes. I believe in you. That's why I came in here to look for you. To make sure you were safe. You're too kind. But, Fluttershy, what are you doing in here? I thought you were arrested. The police let me go. They let you go? But I thought you were a suspect. No. I don't know why. They just said I didn't have to say anymore and let me out. It is fine. Only one thing. The feather didn't match yes. any of our animals. When I got home, I saw Pinkie Pie standing by the entrance to the forest, and I asked her what she was doing. She said we went in here all alone. So I got worried, and I came in here to find you. Did you by any chance see anyone else in here while you were looking for me? No, I didn't. Uh, um, sh should I have seen someone? <laughs> You know, like how I should have seen Apple Bloom that night? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do something wrong again. It's funny how she just took on two savage wolves, and then she goes back into submissive wink mode. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's just someone knocked me out and put me in the middle of this forest. Oh my. That's not very nice. <laughs> on top of that, they stole all my evidence I was going to use to defend Rainbow Dash in the trial tomorrow. Um... Twilight said she was going to defend Rainbow Dash tomorrow. Huh? What? She talked with me at the detention center earlier and told me to forget about you. Oh, no. I hope she's not doing what I think she is. She's gonna fire me for what I did to you. Trixie will eat her alive if she plans to defend Rainbow Dash. Yeah. Are you talking? 
talking about that blue unicorn and the wizard outfit? Yeah. I was barely holding my own against her. And I have experience. Twilight won't stand a chance. I have to get her to reconsider. Wait, Dr. Shai doesn't tell know? Her what you told me. She'll change her mind. I don't know. She was pretty bummed out. Then I'll help you explain it to her. Thanks, Fluttershy. Hey, wait a second. I just thought of something. What is it, Mr. Phoenix? Yeah? You said Pinkie Pie is standing by the entrance, right? Um, yeah, standing yeah. good. Well, good whoever knocked me out would have to leave through the entrance, since that's the only way out. Oh, I see now. Since Pinkie Pie is waiting by the entrance... Pinkie Pie will probably see whoever attacked me exit the door. I'll show you the way out. You were right about that this morning. Huh? Even if I know not worth visiting it much, this forest really is like a backyard to me. Alright, lead the way. Okay, they are out. In the forest. Do I hear galloping? It's not me. It's getting closer. I can see some pony coming this way. One of the two attacked me. No, it's I don't, like... I don't have to fight a pony. Fluttershy? Phoenix? Uh, hey, yeah. And we are back to the spot and they are Look, together again. Look, I know again. you really must not like me after what I did today, but I can explain. Mr. Phoenix was only trying to help Twilight. He never meant to hurt anyone. Let's go back to the library. I don't think it's a good idea to stay in this forest. Yeah, I agree. I agree too. So that's why I did that. I know it wasn't fair to Fluttershy, but if I had just sat there and done nothing, Rainbow Dash would have been found guilty right there on the spot. I see. Do you still want to fire me? How did you- Fluttershy told me. Look. I don't mind if you do, but I have to warn you, Trixie's one tough customer. I underestimated her. Despite all my experience, she managed to trump everything I threw at her. In fact, she could have easily overruled my feather theory, since it was all just theory. What? I have a feeling the only reason she let me do that was to see another one of your friends in jail. She's gonna go all out tomorrow, so if you'd like to take over, I have to warn you about that. So we will... Yeah. See what the really uh, At least allow me to do one more thing for you. You still want to help? Even though I was going to fire I you? Did I'll do all I can to help someone who's been accused of a crime they didn't commit. I know for a fact Rainbow Dash didn't do anything wrong. And I know a certain pony who knows more than she's letting on. Actually, I do too. Phoenix, tell me, that thing you mixed in the evidence earlier, that wasn't a good luck charm, was it? <laughs> Why do you ask? Let's just say I've been seeing a lot of locks today. <laughs> locks and... Uh, chains? See, I knew you knew! What was that thing and what did it do to me? Uh, okay, I'll be honest. Because if I don't, I bet you'll see them around me. I'm listening. You see, it's called a Magatama. A tool I use to see if people are hiding deep secrets from me. But don't get me wrong. I only use it when I'm investigating crimes. Deep secrets? If someone is keeping a deep secret, psychic barriers called psych locks will appear. The more locks, the deeper the secret. If you break those locks using proof and evidence, chances are the person, or in this case, the pony, will spill the beans. Interesting. Interesting? I thought you'd be mad. What about black ones? Black ones? What do you mean? Like the one on Gabriel. And Trixie. Never mind. So, do you know how that thing's power got transferred into me? Not a clue. It probably had something to do with the way it reacted when you picked it up. Hmm. Well, I'm sure I can fix it, but I need it right <coughs> now. But, since I told the truth, I expect the same from you. What? You're not a very good liar, Twilight. I could clearly see that you bringing me here was no accident. You did it on purpose, didn't you? I'm that bad at lying, huh? Yes. Yeah, you're about as thin as Kleenex. I mean, identification spell? I know you have magic here and all, but that sounds like something a third grader came up with. I know that isn't a real spell. That I might, that might be. Anything, but I suppose I owe you an explanation. 
Princess Celestia herself told me to summon you and play dumb. So you knowing my name and having that badge prepared? Yeah, she did all that. I didn't know you were going to be from another world, though. That's a bummer. So I'm not the greatest defense attorney in the universe? <laughs> no. Oh, darn. I was starting to <coughs> But how does she know me? I know that's sketchy on that detail as well. I, too, found it really odd how she knew so much about you and how she was boasting about how good you were, yet you acted as if you had never met a pony in your life before me. How does this princess character know me? I think I want to have a chat with your highness about this. Well, I certainly don't like the fact I was being deceived by you. But I thank you for telling me the truth. I apologize. I was just doing what the princess told me to. She seems genuinely sorry about it. I shouldn't hold it against her. Perhaps I should just change the subject. Hmm. So this evidence you found. Seems you had a good turnout. Oh. Ah! What's the matter? The other half of the letter! The other half of the letter? Wait, you have it? Yeah, I found it with Pinkie Pie today. This is my letter stating my permanent leave of absence. After the Equestria 500 is over, I can no longer work with you. We made quite the team, but I can't live with the guilt any longer. I can't keep helping you ruin others' lives. It saddens me beyond belief that we must part ways, but I must say farewell. Goodbye, if Elise. Sunata wrote it, then she knew about Someone Black Meeting. She was helping yeah, Ace. And I think I know who. Who? I'll tell you once I confirm and my she suspicion. wanted to you get out of someone you wanted to talk to, right? Disease. Perhaps we should go our separate ways again. You're right. Come back here once you're done, though. You were attacked, after all. You have my word. Oh, then back to the hotel. Hello? Hello, Sonata. What do you want? I just wanted to talk, that's all. I already spoke to you. Can you please leave? You should be grateful I didn't tell the police about you and your friend's intrusion today. Funny you should say that, because I was wondering why you didn't. If you had me arrested, there would be no defense attorney tomorrow, meaning Rainbow Dash would be most likely found guilty. In other words, exactly what you want. I'm not here about that, though. I just wanted to talk to you about a question you were avoiding earlier. What was it like being Ace's manager? Just what I said. A question like that is none of your business. Now, let's see what you're hiding, Sonata. By the sound of it, it seems it wasn't good at all. I, I can't believe this! Shouldn't you be investigating the crime? Why are you bothering me with your annoying questions? Because I think you have something to do with all of this. Really? Yes. Me? Tell me, Mr. Wright. Why do you think I'm involved with this crime? I'll show you why, Sonata. <laughs> this look familiar to you? Where did you get that? Seems someone who was working with Ace was planning on quitting after the race. And I think that someone is you, Sonata. You're the only one working with Ace in Ponyville at the moment. Hmm. You think I wrote this? I've never seen this letter before. For all you know, it could have been mailed here by Ace's butler. No, you can. No, I don't think you wrote this. I know you Check wrote it this. by the book. Can you explain how? You see, it's very simple actually. We can just compare the writing to yes. something I know for a fact you in did In the write. book. And I have it right here. Take that! The spell book. This unicorn spell book I found in this very room. Are you saying I wrote this book? Of course not. But this book has some interesting characteristics. I can't read a single word of it. Then why are you showing it to me? It probably belongs to the hotel. No, it doesn't belong to the hotel. I know a unicorn who reads a book just like this. And says it's only available in Canterlot, the place you say you're from. <sighs> Whatever. It's my book. What exactly are you trying to prove here? Like I said, I can't read any of the characters written inside these inside? pages, except yeah. these ones. Ah! Continue from here. I can read that note scribbled on the page. You couldn't find a bookmark, could you, Sonata? 
I'm sure if we compare the writing in here to that letter, we'll get a perfect match. Ugh. Yes, you Fine. do. Fine, I wrote the letter. Oh, god damn, god damn. But you still failed to prove any relevance to this. Hmm? So what? I was going to quit. Why do you think I have something to do with this? Because they still don't I can't help don't ruin like others' lives. I wonder what that could mean. The black meaning. I won't play dumb. Because I know exactly what this little statement means. Kick that! Is this some kind of joke? Why are you showing me these pictures? I found out earlier today, from my client, Ace was doing something very wrong to her. And I think you know all too well what it was. You were in on this blackmailing business, weren't you? It fits perfectly with the context of your resignation letter. <sighs> You certainly have a wild imagination, Mr. Wright. Blackmail? Really? Even if your client was being blackmailed, what makes you think Ace and I were behind it? I know it's the truth, Sonata. Is that so? I don't see anything mentioning blackmail on this letter of mine. And those pictures of my client? Maybe Ace just needed a good laugh at his Maybe that's to get in the right mindset. I don't think so. Ruin others' lives kind of fits the description of blackmail. It could mean anything. You have no proof Ace and I were blackmailing any pony. Actually, I do. How? We just have to use this. Take that! That? This is the letter Rainbow Dash was oh, blackmailed yeah. with. Demands right from the horse's mouth. Like I said, there is no way you can prove Ace or I wrote this. It doesn't even have a name on it. I don't need a name. There's an easier way to find out who wrote this. W what? Just like earlier, let's compare the writing style on this blackmail letter to your letter of resignation. They seem to match up perfectly, Sonata. <laughs> Do you have any idea why? I don't know why. <laughs> There's also that list I found on your table, with 835 next to Rainbow Dash's name, the same time requested to meet her on this letter. Well done, Mr. Wright. I guess there is no way to deny it anymore. Uh. Problem? <laughs> Shouldn't you be worried? Worried? <laughs> Whatever should I be worried about? I found you out. You were blackmailing my client. That's a crime, Miss Cold Hard Swift Justice. Do you remember what I said earlier? My talent. My eye for detail. It's what I've been using the whole time Ace and I have been doing this. Okay. For example, the days I studied Miss Rainbow Dash, I could see that she had quite an ego and reputation. That's why I took those photographs of her. We had quite the lucrative business set up, Ace and I. We have several gamblers placing large sums of money on him after we have our way with a potentially tough competition, then split the money 50-50 on top of what he's awarded for winning. That's called cheating. That's why your client exactly. was targeted. Her performance at the Cloudsdale Young Flyers competition. Why are you telling me all this? To prove that I'm not worried at all. You see... I can get anyone to keep their mouth shut once I find out what <laughs> she will blackmail Phoenix too. You're no exception. Because he wrote in the room. Mr. Wright, I'm not worried in the slightest. Because you're not going to tell a soul about this. You're wrong. I'm gonna tell the police about this right away. With my conversations with you, I can tell you hold your loyalty and your client in high regard. So what? You can't take that away from me. Or can I? If I so much as even catch wind of you uttering the word blackmail to any pony, I'll report what you and your little accomplice did earlier. She must mean how I broke into her hotel room. You'll find it a little hard defending your client from a prison cell. <sighs> you had no jurisdiction searching my hotel room, and you and that pink pony left prints all over the place. I have more than enough evidence to take you down with me. It would be troublesome if information would, uh... regarding my dealings got out, and you want to defend your client, correct? Seems we're at a stalemate. 
Why didn't you just report me earlier? Simple. I held the cards so I knew yes. I could use them to my advantage, which I am right now. So, do we have a deal, Mr. Wright? I'll take your silence as a yes. Don't worry. I'll be at the trial tomorrow to make sure you keep our little secret to yourself. Goodbye, Mr. Wright. Please go away and don't come back. Looks like I ended up on the same boat as all our other victims. Ugh, what do I do? Though this seems important, how does it fit in with anything? Seems Twilight isn't back yet. Better not tell her about Sonata, unless it's necessary. Not only for my sake, but for hers as well. Holy shit. Hey, an owl. <laughs> you, you're an owl. Don't oh. stop that thing. <laughs> Who am I? Phoenix Wright, with a PH and a W. Oh. You know, you make Big Macintosh look like a black <laughs> Oh, you're back. You're Spike, right? I remember meeting you earlier. When I heard he was a dragon, I thought he'd be much bigger. But he's just a little guy. Yeah, I remember. You were being a big drama queen this morning. Uh, sorry about that. Getting one hour of sleep will do that to you. So what's this owl doing here? That's Owlicious. He helps Twilight with her late night study sessions since he's nocturnal. Owlicious, huh? <laughs> you, you're Owlicious. <laughs> Sometimes I keep at it, hoping they'll say what, why, where, or how. So you're Twilight Scribe? Yep. Number one assistant, Spike. Ooh. Oh, so are you... Actually, would you mind being the number 1.5 <laughs> assistant? I mean, that's still number one. Sort of. It's just number one assistant sounds a little better on me. Ooh. Ooh. Me. Ooh. <laughs> me, Spike. You know my name. Ooh. Spike, you have to win. <laughs> Twilight wasn't lying when she said she likes reading. She lives in this library. It's like a bookworm's dream come true. Yeah. <laughs> Twilight's a total nerd. Excuse me? Oh, you're back, Twilight. <laughs> I, um... Uh, I was just on my way to, um... Organize those awesome books my intelligent and smart friend reads. Uh... Later! Did you find out what you needed to know? Yes, I'll fill you in about it tomorrow. I have a good idea who's behind all this. Okay. Wait, so you're not firing me? No, I thought about it, the case. and I realize now that you mean well. And if what you say is true, you stand a better chance against Trixie than I do. Please, just tell me when you're going to do something like you did today. Yeah, I will. I shouldn't need to do anything like that again. From here on out, I'll try to find out what really happened in that forest that night. Fluttershy forgave you, so I guess I can too. The princess also said I can trust you. I'll try. No. I won't let you down this time. Thank you. Thank that you. spare bed is in the same place. Try to get lots of sleep this time. I'm pretty tired after all that's happened today. Investigating sure takes a lot out of you. Tell me about it. <laughs> I think I'm going to bed early. Alright. I'm probably going to crash soon as well. Good night. This whole situation with Sonata is bugging me. Not only her blackmailing, but her appearance. Is it only a coincidence she looks like her? Or is that somehow really Mia? Twilight says she may know who's behind the murder. Perhaps I should just wait until tomorrow instead of stressing my brain about this. Wait a minute. Hey, Aloysius, you think you could do me a favor? What did you do? Maybe have a song again? At the end?
Color can the hat was in the, this too. This is a Tomiato. <laughs> Good job, Mr. Tomiato, for this new mission. I'm waiting for the end. If we have any little spoiling or foreshadowing. Let's see. Rainbow trash? <laughs> good one. I prefer That's a good though. <laughs> okay. I was right. Good is here. Okay, so Gilda was the mayor carrier uh, who dropped the liquid used liquid uh, perfume, which was uh, really expensive. And she might still hold a grudge against Pinkie Pie. Uh, maybe Rainbow Dash too, because she sent her away. Uh, okay, so what do we have here? Sonata wanted to quit the blackmailing business and Ace didn't like the thought of that. So they had an argue. They argued about that. So Sonata followed Ace and uh, after Rainbow left, I think uh, Sonata hit Ace with the electrocuted uh, Garth Club, which uh, electrocuted Ace and left the black mark on his neck. Because that's what the letter said that the uh, Ace had a burn mark on the back of his neck, but uh, that execution killed him. And he, she moved the body, but Gilda saw everything. Or she had a fight with Ace, that's for sure. And uh, Gilda moved the clouds. That can no, the cloud wasn't moved because uh, it was the mark un under the cloud. So Gilda was there, that's for sure, and uh, 
Sonata Part 2 So it's either Sonata or Gilda who is the killer Any any of them can be But wait, yes Sonata uh, killed Ace Then Gilda moved the body to frame Rainbow Dash because of the anger for Rainbow Dash. And then Apple Bloom just uh, <laughs> bumped into Sonata back, back away from and when she was teleporting away, she teleported away with the uh, Apple Bloom. That's why uh, Fluttershy didn't see anybody else coming out. Wait, she would have seen Gilda too. So I don't know, but Gilda was there too. Or Lenora. But I think, no, no. Lenora was here waiting for the princess, so. So Gilda was in there. I'm pretty sure Cruise Control didn't uh, kill anybody, but Sonata maybe blackmailed him again to attack uh, Felix Wright. That can be true, and that made him suspicious. And as for the variance of uh, the ponies and the human uh, world representatives of them, some some of them had the personality and some of them had the look. For Sonata, it was the look of Mia Fey and uh, the personality of the assistant of uh, I don't know which case it, it was and what was her name but uh, that uh, blonde girl with the grass was a manager too so maybe maybe the princess is has the personality of uh, someone Felix knows. We don't know it. No, I hope we will. <laughs> and the hit still the Trixie Locks, which was. I hope it, it will be locked. And <laughs> the photos are still mystery. What did Re Rainbow do? That was uh, shameful. I hope they will show it at the last episode. So yeah, this was Phoenix part. Um, I don't know how will he do it because he is black mad. But uh, I... Yeah, maybe he will blame cruise control and Sonata. No. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah. Gilda will be a witness, so... I hope it will be as fun episode as this one. But that will be at the dawn. Recorded at the dawn, not here. So, yes. I think that's it for today. I hope you like my reaction and my deduction. <laughs> it become really dark when I <laughs> finished the recording. See you. <laughs>